James. She was murdered on the 8th of May in Kailicha. She was stabbed 100 meters from where six other people were shot five minutes earlier. No one followed up that case. We did, because her sister asked us to help. Do you know where we found the suspect? In the Eastern Cape. We brought him back. He is now being detained in Kailicha. We do that because we care for the community. We patrol for them. We give them training. I don't see you doing the same, sir. And I'm tired of the excuses, and I'm tired of you making this a political thing. None of these people tonight, when they see their neighbors being slaughtered on the streets, worry about your nonsense comments about the Constitution and about the evolution. They worry about surviving, sir. And I would like to end off with this. I want to graciously invite you to come and patrol without a bodyguard, without a grand car, in normal clothes, with this community tonight. To get the sewage on your shoes that they patrol through. You have a problem, Mr. Minister, because you are removed from reality that the rest of us face. When I visit Mbukweni, I get out of my car and a three-year-old little boy is taking a poo next to the road because he doesn't have a toilet. And you know what? Police don't care if something happens to them there because they don't have the resources to help. When I go to the different gender-based violence tests at these police stations, especially in the Nyanga cluster or traditional Nyanga cluster, the majority of the te detectives have more than 300 dockets on their table. 300 dockets! How do you think you can do an investigation with 300 dockets? It's impossible. And then, the cherry on top, and this is my conclusion, is that many of those detectives have 300 dockets, and it's a constable detective. He just came out of the college. He doesn't even know how, how to spell J88. You expect him to solve the problem. Did not join human rights battles yesterday. That's why I was sent to prison. That's why I was sent to Robben Island. That's why I lived in the cold water. That's why I ate bad food, because I was fighting for human rights. That's why today we have human rights. Don't teach me about human rights. Don't tell me and tell about the safety of my people. I fought for it. I nearly died for it. I was arrested for it. I was exiled for it. Don't, don't provoke me. Don't, don't talk things that you have studied and you have heard, you have been told about. I've lived this life. I've lived the life of being African. I've lived the life when my mother was called a kitchen girl, when my father was called a garden boy. I've lived that life. And I'm not going to take any nonsense of somebody who regards me as a garden boy today. Because you regard me as a garden boy. You come here. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I sat here. I sat here. I listened to you. I sat here. I listened to you talking nonsense. Listen. It's your time to listen. Sit down and listen, young man. Oh, get out! Oh, get out! Get out!